So between the flu and COVID-19 and RSV, oh my goodness, it's been a tough season for respiratory viruses. Hoping that we're getting into a better spot. Our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, is joining us now. Okay, it's been wonky for the last couple of years. Where do we stand about like, cases spiking, coming down, like where are we? You know, this year the respiratory season was really different. So yeah. It started much earlier than expected. So normally we expect a peak sort of around December, January. Yeah. This year we started seeing RSV cases as early as September. Um, and then the, the peak of it was actually much higher as well. So it was significantly more severe, as you just said, more people ending up in the hospital than ever before, especially with conditions like yeah. RSV, but also with viruses like rhinovirus and, yeah. you know, viruses that normally wouldn't end you up in the hospital. Yeah. And we had more adults getting sick this year than ever before. And that was partly because of what we're calling the immunity gap. Right. Because for the last couple of years, we had been wearing these masks. And so our immune system sort of got a little out of shape, so yeah. to speak. And this year, put it back in shape. <laughs> so that's, that's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, we're just like exercising some muscles. Okay, so we are obviously headed towards a warm up, you know, hopefully that sticks around for a while. Does that mean what? Do we expect to still see this around? Or what are we bracing for? So good news, uh, RSV has started to go down. Flu A has started to go down. Oh, go we ahead. still have to keep an eye on flu B and COVID okay. as well, because we can still see some of those. We had a couple of cold days, and we know that when the weather is cold, the viruses are more likely to mm -hmm. survive in the atmosphere. But we also know, Anusha, that our immune system is actually suppressed when the weather is cold. So a nine degree difference in nine oh. degrees Fahrenheit will actually reduce the immunity in our nose by about 50%. I did not know that. Yes. Why is that? What's happening? Well, it changes the temperature, the humidity, and it changes the environment in our nose. And our nose now has to work harder to warm up the air that we're inhaling. Oh. So it sort of gets distracted and the cells that would fight the bacteria and viruses are just not as robust or healthy. I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, it's just because we're outside more and we're not in closed spaces, which of course are all factors, but there's also that yes. physical reaction. There's to a what's physiologic happening. reason, but you're right, that's also a point. Like we're spending a lot more time right. congregating indoors as opposed to being outdoors. Well, I am extra grateful that we're warming <laughs> up to the 60s today. You were talking about COVID. I know there's talks about another vaccine as well. What that's do people right. need to know about where that stands? Yeah, so this would now be the second bivalent booster. So a booster for that bivalent, remember, which is that two strains that has right. that Omicron strain in it. The FDA is probably going to approve it in the next week or two. It's already been approved in other countries uh, like Canada and and other countries as well. Uh, but really, it's only for select groups. So they're probably only going to recommend it for those 65 and older or those with a weakened immune system that are far away from their last booster. Probably not something that I see being recommended for the general population. Okay. Although if you feel that you may be a candidate for this extra booster, certainly something to talk to your primary care doctor about. We do still have a lot of COVID around with sure. that new XBB variant. Okay, so we, we just got about 30 seconds left. Just your, your advice to, to families with every Everything that's kind of circulating right now. I would say we're near the tail end. Yay. So the end of the <laughs> tunnel is near. But having said that, because of the COVID pandemic, because of the fact that the evolution of the viruses in the last year has looked very different, just continue to sort of follow those hand hygiene measures, sure. continue to do all the things you can. But we really, with the weather warming up, are looking forward to hopefully some of those respiratory viruses settling down. Okay, crossing my fingers. Thank you so much for coming in today.